again and I'm here at Cozy Corner for your story play and already set play. Are you ready? Because I am ready. Right. Hello again everybody. Um, we just want to make sure that everybody is at home and keeping safe. You're following all the rules. You are practicing social distancing and you are doing all the things that is necessary to keep yourself and your family safe during this time. All right? Parents, we implore you to make sure that your kids are feeling very safe. They're feeling loved during this time of uncertainty. Um, it is very important that you spend some quality time with your kids, have some family time, and what better way of spending quality time with your children than to read them a nice bedtime prayer. So this book that i have here it has a few prayers that you know when you're putting the little ones down to sleep at night it's something nice that you both can do together um i'm gonna choose a nice prayer from this book and it could be any prayer it could be a prayer from this book it could be a prayer that you know that you want to teach the kids any little thing it should be a very nice gesture and it will help to keep them, you know, feeling as if they're close to you guys during this time. So I'm just going to pop pop into this book and I'm going to read the first prayer that comes to me. All right. Oh, I like this one. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in your loving care. Be my guide in all I do and bless all those who love me too. Oh, I love that one. All right, let's find one more prayer that I'm sure you and your little one will love. Ooh, this one should be nice. I see the moon and the moon sees me. God bless the moon and God bless me. When the moon and the stars shine so bright, I'll hold you close and kiss you nighty night. Oh, that was very nice. So parents, let them feel loved, let them feel safe. Tuck them in and say a little prayer with them at night. All right, just another fun activity that you can do with your children during this time that you're at home and you need something to do. So that was a cozy tip from, from me, Auntie Rachel, and us here at Cozy Corner. Have a safe quarantine. So guys, there are lots of different crafts that we can do for this Easter season and what better craft to do than to make an Easter bunny. This is so simple and so fun. Are you ready? All right. All right, so what we'll need, we need a plate. It can be a paper plate or a plastic plate. I would recommend a paper plate for the toddlers. It is safer. All right, so we need some paint or some crayons, anything that can add a little color. You need a scissors and a marker. You can, it is optional if you want to, use cotton balls or little foam stickers to embellish your bunny. All right? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut off the top of our plate. All right? Just one cut straight across. 
You can ask your parents to help you or an older brother or sister. Voila, this is gonna be our bunny's face. Let's put that down. Now, you're gonna take your piece that you cut off the top and you're gonna cut that in half. Now you can just kind of shape it up so that it's kind of looking like a bunny ear. Cut off the sharp edges. And you kind of shape it out just like that, right? All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw a little face on our bunny. So our bunny needs eyes. Bunny needs a little nose, and our bunny needs some. Whiskers. So I'm going to use some pipe cleaners for the whiskers for my bunny. You can use pipe cleaners if you want, or you can draw your whiskers on, or you can use anything that you find around the house, some scrap paper, anything at all. All right. So the best way for me to put these pipe cleaners onto my bunny is to staple them. So you can ask someone at home to help you with this part as well. Get your pipe cleaners. I'm going to just secure them together at the ends. So give it a little twist. And you can staple it on to your bunny like this wow my whiskers are looking so good i put some whiskers on the next side mm Wow. All right. So our bunny now needs ears. So what I'm going to do before I put my ears on, I'm going to give my bunny ears a little bit of color. So can you use paint? I'm using these chunkies paint sticks. You can use regular poster paint, markers, crayons, anything that you want to give your bunny a little color. I'm making a nice fluffy white bunny with pink ears. All right. So now you take your ears and you're going to staple it on to your bunny. Mm -hmm. Turn this one away. So 
see if we can get in there to staple it. Oh. You're going to need some help with the stapling. Staple it. Look, our bunny has airs. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find a nice little nose to stick on my bunny because I don't like my bunny's nose. So I'm going to find a nice little brown nose to stick on my bunny. I will find it in my right now. Yay, I found a pink nose. All right, so you can use a cotton ball if you'd like. Or like I said, you can draw it on if you don't have it at home. But I want to use this pink nose for my bunny. And I stick it right there. Do you like my bunny? Isn't it cute? All right. And that is our bunny. That was so easy, right guys? And you can hang it up in your room. You can give it to your brother, your sister, anybody in your house as a gift for the Easter. This is a very fun craft that anybody can do at home. All right. I hope you guys like this.